everyone, my name is Cyrus Franz. Today we're going to talk about the budget constraint and the food stamp program. In particular, this material is from Hall Barron's Intermediate Microeconomics Chapter 2, and I'm talking about a figure 2.6 panel A. So, according to a textbook before year 1979, the government allows a poor family with an income of $300, they are qualified to purchase food stamps. Um, so they pay $83 to purchase a food stamp that is worth $153, meaning they only have to pay $83 and they can get the food stamp that allows them to buy the food that is worth $153. So how would that change the shape of our budget line? So uh, in your mind, I want you to think about a family that has $300 and they only consume two goods. One is baguettes, that's our food. The other one is t-shirts that will be considered all other goods. So initially you have $300. If you want to buy only baguettes, say the price of baguettes is a dollar and the price of t-shirts is also a dollar. Then with that budget of $300, you can either buy 300 baguettes and uh, no t-shirts or you can buy 300 t-shirts and no baguette or any combination in between. It could be 150 baguettes and 150 t-shirts or just anything in between. And now, with the government uh, new food stamp program, you can think of it as a baguette discount program. You are allowed to buy 153 baguettes at a discount, meaning you only have to pay $83 for this 153 baguettes. So, what is the new price of the baguettes? Well, the new price will be whether you have to pay $83 to buy 153 baguettes. So, the new price of the baguette will be $0.54. Cents. So, um, the price of t-shirt is still the same, it's still a dollar. So, you can see that will change the shape of your budget constraint to something flatter because um, your price of baguette divided by the price of a t-shirt has changed to 0.54 instead of 1. So that's the first part. It's going to become a little bit flatter. Up to which point? So this point, king point A, that is you spend all the $83 that you're allowed to buy food stamps to buy the 153 baguettes on discount. So you are going to use the rest of the money to buy t-shirts. So how many t-shirts can you buy? Well, you have, initially you have $300 and you spend $83 to buy the baguettes on discount, so you're left with $217. So with that money, how many t-shirts can you buy? We know the price of t-shirt is a dollar. So with $217, you can now buy 217 t-shirts. So this point, point A, is that you have 153 baguettes and you also consume 217 t-shirts. So that's a point A, that's a kink. And after you purchase the 153rd baguette, if you want to buy more baguette, sorry, you can't buy baguette on discount anymore because that's a discount program. If you want to buy more, you will have to buy a baguette at one dollar just as everyone else. So you can see afterwards, the slope of budget line is just the same as before because after the 153rd baguette, the price of baguette has increased from 54 cents to one dollar because you have um, deplete your food stamps. So afterwards, the slope is just one. And what is the intercept? So intercept here, that means you use all the money, all the resource to buy the gas and no t-shirt. So in that case, how many baguettes can you buy? So you know, for the first 153 baguettes, you bought them on discount and you spend $83. Afterwards, you want to buy more baguettes, sorry, you have to pay a dollar. So how much money do you have left? You have $217 left after you spend the $83 to buy baguettes on discount. So afterwards, how many baguettes can you buy? Well, because after this point, your baguettes are not on discount anymore. It's still a dollar. So with $217, you can buy 217 baguettes. So together, how many baguettes did you buy? There will be 103, sorry, 153 baguettes that's on discount plus 217 baguettes that's not on discount. 
So together you bought 370 baguettes. And that's the intercept here. Point B. That's if you spend all the resources to buy baguettes. So that's how the um, food program, food stamp program, can change the shape of our budget line. I hope this helps. And I'll see you next time.